What's up everybody? So today we're gonna make some chicken and we're gonna make my favorite recipe. Um, I love El Pollo Loco and I actually tried to copy some that were supposedly the secret recipe and it wasn't exactly like El Pollo Loco. Based on that recipe, let's cook some chicken. So here's the bird that we're working with today. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna separate the breast from the leg and thigh and the wing. I want to pull the leg and thigh off the grill at about 180 and the wing I mean I just want it crispy and as far as the breast I'm going to pull it off the grill at 165. I'm not an expert at cutting a chicken so let's get this cut up. Now let's make a salt water brine. I'm going to use four cups of water and four tablespoons of salt. For the salt, I'm using this uh, Kirkland Pure Sea Salt because that's what I have. Alright, we're going to let this sit for about three hours in the fridge. In the meantime, let's make that marinade. Let's start with the uh, liquids. A tablespoon of uh, corn oil or your desired oil. A tablespoon of white vinegar. Two tablespoons of fresh lime. Now we're going to need 8 ounces or 1 cup of uh, pineapple juice. You got to make sure that if you buy this, I bought the slices and it says 100% pineapple juice. About half a teaspoon of uh, ground pepper. Half a teaspoon of oregano. Two cloves of garlic. Here they are chopped up. So with regards to the spice or the heat, the original recipe calls for a California chili, but I'm going to use a serrano pepper with the seeds. So here we are, about a teaspoon of serrano pepper. I meant to say tablespoon. So three hours have passed with this uh, salt water brine. So before I'm gonna mix the chicken with our marinade, I'm gonna poke it because I want that marinade to be able to go into the deep, into the tissues. I'm using a gallon size uh, Ziploc bag. I'm gonna put all that chicken in there. Just gotta pour this marinade in there. Usually, some people say, you can save a little bit for basting. Yeah, there we go. Woo! Mmm, smells good already. Massage it. <gasps> so I'm gonna put that in the fridge for about two hours. All right, so I'm gonna set the chicken in here opposite the hot coals. We'll do a reverse sear, which means that we'll sear it at the end. Put these bad boys in there. I'm going to set my timer for 30 minutes because that's when we're going to baste it. Let's go ahead and baste it. I'm going to baste both sides. So we'll turn it over as well, each piece. Alright, let's close it up. Put a timer for uh, 20 minutes. So we are now 55 minutes into this cook. Woo, look at that. Things looking real good. The wings are nice and crispy, just how I like them. Wings need to be pulled off. As far as leg and thigh, we'll check the temps. Okay, my thermometer is going crazy. Alright, thermometer's back in business. See, we're at uh, 160. We're pretty much ready. Here we're at a. Uh, oh, this one's ready to go. So let's pull the breast off. Making those rings crispy. This one, just reverse sear it a little bit. Bad boy's getting real crispy here. Let's check the thighs. Okay. Oops. Oh man, that was crazy juicy. Uh, so 148, 168, we're at uh, 170. We're close. We can just go ahead and uh, put that already on the reverse sear side. Oh yeah, these are ready. Okay. I like my meat a little bit crispy, some parts of it. Not the breast. <laughs> it tends to lose uh, a lot of its juice. Let's reverse sear these bad boys. I 
I think they're ready. <laughs> Look at that. Um, I'll close it, give it 10 more minutes, and then just pull them right off. This is our finished product. I think that if I had separated the leg from the thigh, they would have been done by now. Or 10 minutes ago. This chicken has been cooling down for about 10 minutes. My belly is ready for a taste. So we're gonna get leg and thigh and a piece of that breast. Look how tender that is. Oh. Oh. Let's cut this up so I can see how it looks as well. Before we taste it, let's get a little sprinkle of some limon. Okay, here we go. Ah, these are hot. Okay, that's hot. Mm. I thought that the serrano peppers, because I didn't take out the seeds, I thought they were gonna be empowering, but like overpowering. Mm. It's perfect, it's delicious. Hold on, let me show you how I'm really gonna eat this. All right, now we're ready to eat. Got that spicy guacamole, the rajaritos, the piña. I love it. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one because I'm hungry, I'm tired, and I'm gonna enjoy this. It's gonna be like.